Wednesday night. It's Chit Chat Chop, and we have we have a special guest here, all the way from the Big T.O. coming to visit us here in Nova Scotia. We have Paul. Remember, everybody remember Polly when we did the episode with Chowder? Well, Polly is here. Welcome, Polly. And so, since Patty forgot who I am, my last name, and what I do, I'll introduce myself. I know. I was waiting until you got on the screen there, boy. Don't be Uh, screwing up my whole Patty's grumpy. Patty's grumpy, everyone, just so you know. Grumpy grumpy. Patty. (laughs) So, yes, uh, Paul Bromby. Paul Bromby. (laughs) From Halifax. Senior executive producer. Um, I put my Nova Scotia center. flag up over my mirror tonight, so you I did. feel it like I was really kind of home. Very dorm room, like college, very, yeah. house. Very yeah, dorm room. room, which leads us right into cooking with microwaves, Patty. Right? <laughs> yes, yes. I wasn't going to go there yet, but I mean, yeah, no, we might right. as well start. It's a cooking show. Yeah, it is a cooking show. And I'm show. just warning people, if you have children in the room, you might want to, like, turn this off because I feel like there might be a few F-bombs in this episode. You hear her there? It's okay. You hear her there every once in a while. So yeah, so okay, first of all, how you doing? I'm doing okay. I um uh, been self-isolating for about two months now. Uh working from home for the most part. Uh a lot of our uh content has shifted from broadcast over to uh the interwebs. So the interwebs, yes. <laughs> the interwebs. So a lot of online content, um, and a lot of different initiatives uh, with was kind of in line with our broadcast. Like, and I will say, for, before I forget this, for example, Friday, May eighth, this Friday, Toronto versus Detroit, Game Seven, nineteen ninety three. We'll have some great guests on at part of our watch parties, which would be uh, Dave Anderchuk, Felix Popvin, possibly uh, some other great guests. I don't want to say some if they don't show up. Uh, and then Chicago. No, Vancouver. you don't want to do that. <laughs> no, oh, it's like you don't want to exactly. Do that. Like, I think we're going to have Wayne Gretzky, Alex Ovechkin. Uh, no, I'm kidding. So anyways, Ooh, and then we, we have a couple of, yeah, we have a couple other watch parties coming up in the next, um, couple of weeks, which are really cool. But then Chicago, Vancouver game seven, 2011, that's at nine 30 Eastern time. So, uh, yeah, we have a lot of stuff going on doing ask 31, which is with, uh, Jeff Merrick. They asking them kind of uh, a bunch of questions from themselves and online. So we've had, some cool guests this week. We have Mike Medano and Jack Campbell tomorrow. So, you say so all just these a lot of and again. I, I know, but you know what? People. Adam sorry, doesn't know Paul. who they are. So a couple okay. people out there know who they are. Well, but like, former like, NHL players, that. current NHL players, and that's kind of what I've been up to. Yeah. Cool. Good stuff. So are you are you adjusting to life at home? Like virtual? A little world bit. Here? Okay. Yeah, I I feel like uh, I think I've been stir crazy a few times. Um, yeah. Like today, for example, I got a little stir crazy, so I took my basketball out to the. There's a little park by my and shot around for a bit. Um, yeah. I was out of breath in like two minutes, so I came back. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not like I go for walks more than I ever did. Um, but yeah, it is. It is. I'm trying my best not to go out. Yeah. Like um. I go out on Monday to do my grocery shopping. I very like once a week. And then, you know, I have my sons with me on the weekend. We do a lot of things, but definitely away from like we go for hikes and parks and trails and different things like that. But yeah, it's definitely a big adjustment. And I'm kind of a social person. I don't know if you know this. No, didn't know that at all. I like to be social. So uh, I try to find uh, other ways to be social, I guess, uh, online. Probably no, driving everyone we were, I was crazy. talking about this on a call tonight. We were, you know, it's, it's, we're, we're, we're on week eight, seven, eight now that this has happened. And, you know, a lot of people need that social interaction and it's tough when you don't have it. Like mental health is definitely, mm-hmm. a, you know, they talk about public health and I think mental health is also part of public health. I look and at certain, the shirt I wore. Look, ooh, mental, look health. mental health. I, yes, mental health shirt. matters. Actually, thank you. Thank you. I love um, it too. I'll send you one. Yeah, it's a great shirt. <laughs> Um, but no, but I think that's a big part of what I think is is a little downplayed a little bit in this is that there's a, there's a lot of struggle. Yes. There's economic struggles. Yes. There's public health struggles. Yes. There's fear, but there's also a big mental health of being home and cooped up for eight weeks with, you know, whether you're alone or whether you're with family or what, you know, whatever it happens to be, there's just a lot of the cracks are coming out. Yeah. I, uh, I would agree, especially, you know, people at home trying to teach their kids and uh, take care of their kids while they're also working and trying to do their job. Um, I think for me, the, I think the hardest part for me was when uh, we had the tragedy in Nova Scotia. I uh, 
I was reeling for a week. I was consuming way too much news and watching it online. And I yeah. just felt very helpless and wanted to help others and talk to people. And I think it just really affected me more than I ever thought it would. And I just had to unplug yeah. for a few days and just because, you know, I, and I, and I'm not the only, I have a lot of like friends of mine that kind of messaged me feeling the same way. Um, people from Nova Scotia that are living in Ontario and around the world and around Canada, I think it just uh, really hit us and made us miss home and feel really helpless in a way. It was very, it was, I'll, we'll never experience anything like that again, hopefully. And, hopefully, but it was, very, yeah. it was very, uh, it was very hard. You see all these things that happen on the news. You never expect it to be, you know, I feel like in a lot of ways, Nova Scotia lost a lot of its innocence for me and, and that yeah. something like that could never happen to us or to home. And that really, uh, yeah, that's when I felt the, that was probably the low point of all this. I, yeah. And then kind of, uh, but now, you know, hanging out with you, drinking beer and we're good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, I turn the, I can't even watch the news these days. No, I, can, I know. And me I neither. normally would like tune into CBC and watch like the national and be like, okay, I'm informed for the day, but I can't even do that. I feel yeah. like I don't have the mental capacity right now to like handle Absolutely. all of it. So which is it? Which is okay for everyone to kind of unplug for a while. Uh, it you totally know. is. If something yeah. really breaks that we need to know, I'm sure we'll find out. Agree. Adam will call me and tell me. <laughs> yes. I rely on Adam for that. Yeah. yeah. All right. So. Last time you were in the kitchen, oh. the kitchen door, not here in my, mm -hmm. my lovely little home. Um, we made, well, you helped. You, you definitely helped. I stirred. You stirred. I, you stirred. So I that, stirred. I mean, that's a big component of stirring. That is the big part. Yeah. So that you I don't stirred. burn the milk. Yeah. But we made, and then when there was a moment in the show where you, you know, I, 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 I just, <laughs> I'm, I'm having a hard time remembering. What did you say, Paul? Well, it was more kind of a PSA trying to educate a lot of the viewers oh, okay. that Client something that yeah. delicious, you would not just heat up in a microwave. So I asked, yeah. would you heat this up in a microwave? Would you heat and this I, up in the microwave? I see the vein that was ready to pop in your head when I asked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The and, Harry Potter uh, scar came out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But uh, luckily you educated me and uh, yeah. let me know that you would never microwave that. I would never microwave seafood chatter, no. but we're going to, we're going to do something that I've never done before. So I Googled Ooh. this just for you because, you know, I said, like, I have a poly on tonight. I got to do something new and innovative. Why not? Why not? I mean, why not? Man. And people are looking for new and interesting recipes. I'm sure they're looking for this one. <laughs> yes. Here, this is called moist chocolate cake in a cup. Moist chocolate oh, that's what it's cake in a cup. I was wow. Like, this is Polly on a page. It made me think of one of Justin Trudeau's uh, press conference where yes, don't be yes, moist yes. on your. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah, totally. Yes. So mm -hmm. I thought, well, how, what perfect, what more perfect thing to do than like make chocolate <laughs> cake in a cup? Because who knew you could do that in the microwave, first of all? Wow. And second of all, it only takes 45 seconds of cooking and then five minutes of resting. So I figured we'll make the cake and let it rest and then we'll. <laughs> play some games because Adam some of your is, yeah some of your producer's best work has been done in 45 seconds <laughs> he is Polly Polly you're getting bad you're getting no, bad. I'm, I'm Adam, just talking about microwave cooking yes microwave <laughs> yeah Adam's specialty right okay mm -hmm. all right so we have a mug tonight my friend Doug Belding who uh is an artist he came out with mean mugs Ooh. like I, I don't even know what three years ago four years ago two years ago five months ago who knows it's all <laughs> Who knows when it was? No. But so my husband bought them for Christmas. They're a series of four mean mugs by Doug Belding. Here they are. And mm -hmm. this one says, you're the stupidest smart person I've ever met. <laughs> there you go. There's Doug. Doug in a mug. Doug in a Doug mug. In a mug. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is a cake for one. No sharing. If you want to oh. make multiple of this, you have to make, you know, you have, you can, you can batch up the recipe, but you have to bake them individually. I say bake loosely because you don't, microwave no, isn't baking. Doesn't... You like radiation, <laughs> that thing in the microwave, cup by cup. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Yep. So are you ready for this, Polly? I am ready. to make this. Impress the ladies on I your am... next date night. Oh, yes. Yeah. When we're Royce all allowed to be around each other again, it'll be great. Are you ready? Got your Come pen on over down? For... I do. Pen's okay. right here. Okay. All right, so we are going to put three tablespoons. Three table, write that down there. Three tablespoons. Three tablespoons of unbleached all-purpose flour, and we're using uh, local flour from Spearville Flour Mill. Always buy local. Always buy local when you can. Yes, definitely. And mm -hmm. you can always buy local, so I shouldn't say when you can because you know. Yeah. You know, I was gonna, I was gonna play along, but I didn't have some of the ingredients, and I already went to the grocery store Monday, and I was just, I didn't want to. You weren't going back. 
trying to be a good citizen. So, so first of all, yeah. okay, let's let's go through this. Do you have flour in your pantry, Polly? I definitely there's some Robin Hood flour okay. up there. Oh, yeah. Okay, so ingredient one, Polly has. Just I do I have. Play <laughs> this game because I think he actually has all the ingredients. I don't okay. know if I do. I, yeah, I think you're full of shit. I but that's am why. probably. Okay. Yeah. So brown sugar, ingredient number two. Now this may be a little hard because my children. Yeah, this is hard as nails. So <laughs> we're gonna pretend. We're gonna put big chunks. Here's one tablespoon. Ooh. I know we're gonna hope this recipe works too. So we have two tablespoons of brown sugar. Funny story. Sugar. Funny story, Patty. When I was a kid, I used to make brown sugar sandwiches. I. Oh my God. I what's, in, what's involved I, in a brown sugar sandwich? Well, you have some bread. You put some brown sugar on it, and you eat it. I don't I, like. I don't even know if I couldn't even dream of doing that now. But yeah. Do you like I, melt probably, it or anything, or just like straight no, sugar? No, you just take it straight on there. And I think it might have had butter on it as well. It, it was I would, <laughs> would have been like probably six or seven. I snuck, and then I got caught making them, and then they they took the brown sugar away. <laughs> but yeah, well, I couldn't so even I imagine like, how gross that would be. If you like be. buttered it and then grilled mm -hmm. it, it'd be like melty brown sugar, like a grilled cheese yeah. brown sugar. Yeah, but that, a yeah. More appealing than these okay. are my early chef days. Or, okay, early. Chef. Okay, what are your current chef days? What are those there, Paul? Oh, uh, microwaving things. Yeah, microwaving things in a mug. Moist chocolate cake in a mug, baby. Mm. All right, so we have um, two teaspoons of cocoa powder, the best that you can buy. We use a Dutch process cocoa powder here, which I stole from Kitchen Door okay. Catering. It's one of the perks of being the boss. You get to take all the good ingredients that. every once in a while. <laughs> All right, and then we have baking powder. Quarter teaspoon, people, quarter teaspoon. Quarter and teaspoon. all of this is just going right in the mug. Like, no bowls, one pot wonder, one mug wonder. How like, easy is this? This is amazing. I know. I was thinking yeah. of you the whole time, Polly. Like, <laughs> you would you. love this recipe. Yeah, thanks. Oh, my God. No, but then, okay, my husband has this precariously on this weird. No, 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 I'm going to do it. No, Don't I'm do, do it. it. Don't okay, do hold it. on, hold on. Ah, oh, oh, there it is. Look. Ooh. But I'm not uh -huh. doing any more than that because this could fall off the stand and his, I would be in deep, deep trouble if the iPad fell on the ground or the, <laughs> whatever this is, the iMac thingy, computery thing. Yeah, that's really good, Patty. Okay. Three mm -hmm. tablespoons of milk. Oh, now I'm not quite in the screen. Now I got to uh, Okay. There we go. There you're good. Okay. Oh, gorgeous. Thank you so much. Yeah, I feel great. Yeah. I even put a bra on for all you cha-cha chop people. Ooh, I was in my gonna... pajamas before. I and put the I odor said, on. I don't even you don't even have to be here. Like it's but I feel fresh. You put a flag in the background though. I did. That's a really I did. Good thing, Polly. Yeah. I put I uh I did. All right. So we're doing some milk in the mug. And we're almost here. We have canola oil now. Canola oil. And it says one tablespoon. Canola. So I have canola it in a little oil. Doppler thingy. I'm just gonna like Woo. This is amazing to me. Okay, that's about one like tablespoon. This, I'm gonna guess. This that's is kind a of guess. science experiments. I have no idea. Yes. This could Luckily, be the shittiest, the, moist yeah, chocolate yeah. cake we've ever eaten. So, uh, okay, and then vanilla extract, which I have. Woo -woo. I'm gonna drop it in the mug. Woo -woo. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was one drop, one drop only. And lastly, we need chocolate chips. So again, Patty stole from work. I mean, stole is a loose term. I own the business, but yeah, you still you feel like business. you're stealing sometimes. These are beautiful Calico chocolate chips. Very expensive, very luscious. <laughs> My daughter. Nothing bad. but the best for the moist cupcake. Moist chocolate cake in a mug. <laughs> and it says 10. It, it says, specifies 10. I'm not counting, so I'm just going to No. Go like that. Okay? okay. We're living loose. Let We're it living fly. loose here on Chit Chat Chocolate. <laughs> Yeah. Right? It's good times. Okay, so that's it. You put it all in and you stir it with a fork. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. look at that. Okay. 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 There we go. Okay, can we see? Yeah. It just looks like well, wet flour with cocoa and stuff. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to get the lumps out there and then we're going to nuke this. Polly 45 style. seconds. 45 seconds. 45 <laughs> seconds, baby. That's all, all right. we need. This could be absolutely disgusting. I'm thinking it's going to be, but it could surprise me. So we're going to see. 
chit chat I, chat first. You know what? Microwaves. The chatter, the chatter that we made that day was the best chatter I've ever had. So I'm assuming this is going to be amazing. Amazing. So, okay. Amazing. So go. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. Okay. So now uh, here's the time. We're going to go press some buttons, Polly. Press some buttons. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll be right back. Adam, you get our games ready because we got some Polly games to play. Oh. These are fun. I don't even know how to I, I just turned. I just. Cook. Okay. I just turned my mic on here. Okay. Add we have a couple. We have a question. Well, oh, there's we a question, question from Richard question. Chung. Richard. Hey, Hi, Richard. Richard. Chung. Any more Jack Armstrong stories? Oh, oh, Richard. I would love more Jack Armstrong stories. First of all, Richard's a friend of mine who uh, just had surgery a few weeks ago. So, Richard, oh, thanks hey, for buddy. watching, and I hope you're feeling better, buddy. Uh, Richard's awesome. Any more Jack Armstrong stories? Oh, there's there's so many, but I don't have any as good as that. I will just say that he is absolutely one of the nicest people you've ever met in your life. And and uh, when you when you watch the games and uh, and I hear him, it's it's just like that Brooklyn accent. I, I miss it. I can't wait till uh, we're listening to the games again and watching the games again. <laughs> oh, 45 seconds is up. Oh my god, that was fast. That was fast, wasn't it, Adam? Oh my God, Polly! <laughs> Crazy speed. Okay, look. So this is what it looks like. So it says forty-five seconds, and then it says rest for five minutes. So we're gonna put it oh. down here. <laughs> forty-five seconds and rest for rest five minutes. Rest for five. That's what the recipe calls for. Well, all right. Adam, you look stressed. Are you okay? No, I'm good. I got my things on. I'm gonna come on the camera with you guys. Look at it. Okay. Oh my God, you're gonna come on. You're looking One. dandy. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Look, hey. I'm in the middle. Hey! I can't tell where you are, but I, I see you. I look like Mickey Mouse. Okay. What's your right. first game? Or talk to me about so, well, I got to get in the middle of the camera here. So, Paul, you got to tell us about this. This pick oh. three things. I was watching on Facebook that you're putting up these <laughs> oh things, God. and it's like pick three, and it's crazy amount of comments and stuff. So where did this come from? Okay, so first of all, it started with being home and pretty much wondering if I was going to lose my mind. And I was cooking, and I oh, really? kind of made were this, you, What were you cooking? I was cooking uh, a chicken stir fry, actually. Oh. Thank you. Uh, next and time. next time, but so I was using the top left burner, and whatever reason in my head, I was like, you know what, top left burner is the best burner there is. So I just, of course, these are what happened in my head, and then I just type it out and put it on the Facebook. Or Twitter or whatever. The Facebook. <laughs> the Facebook. And so it caused a shitstorm. There was like 400 comments of what the best burner was. And then I saw a couple of, I saw a couple of things of a pick three game. And uh, so I kind of just followed up each. I saw some. I made some. I had people send them to me. And it just kept going and going and going. And um Honestly, it's a lot of fun for me because I see a lot of different interactions. I see people that I went to junior high with, people I went to elementary school with, people that I work with, all kind of interacting. And it, it kills an hour of my night from seven to eight, and I have a good laugh. And then I get a lot of suggestions of people. There's a lot of dumb assholes who don't follow the fucking rules who need to start doing that. I can tell you that. Right the night away the bomb. I'm only like kidding. It only makes me a bit mad. Like, you put up 17 things of fries, and where's the poutine? Like, what the hell? Oh, anyway, I know. So, just, they, yeah, they just there's all these people just want it to be for them. So, anyways, no, I'm only kidding. That actually makes no, it a lot not. more fun when people ask for other things. So, yeah. it became fun, interactive. And uh, I think if that puts one little smile on anybody's face yeah. and all the crap that we're going through, it puts a smile yeah. on my face for sure. So, I enjoy it, and it's. Uh, I'm sure I've probably been unfriended by a whole whack of people who are sick of it, but whatever. <laughs> oh, man. I'm who fine the with F the F cares? Yeah. Who, hey, you said you were – I would swear you would swear. Come on. Yeah, who, who the F cares? Well, I've, right. I've sworn a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I'm not sure if you know this, but I actually have a few of these, and I've sent them uh -huh. to you that you've yep. got there. Yep. And uh, we're going we're gonna to see if the it's audience can play along. For the record. We're going to have 25 people watching. So, <laughs> Hello, 25 sure. people. Oh, totally. So, well, Chef Iden's here. Charlotte's here. Um, Hi, Steph guys. Pratt is here as well. So, um, let's just let's start with this one you got in front of you here. Dive in. Gonna, here we go. Here's how it oh, works, people. Good one. So, this is pick three. You have to. Oh, how's this work? Gosh. You tell the rules. Paul. So, What's pick the rule? three. You can only pick three. So, really, what it is is you get you try to give a lot of options where it's going to be difficult to only pick three. 
<laughs> crazy game, crazy game, I know, but you're going to have to leave some people out. So let's say you had five kids and you had to pick three of your favorite kids. <laughs> It's going to be two kids that, Polly, you know, Polly. are going to have issues for the rest of their life. But you're going to have a favorite three. So uh, this is how it goes. Well, Sarah's – my wife Sarah's already stirring shit. She says, only three? <laughs> yeah, I would have only exactly. picked one out of this. So just for the oh, record, the first the one, thing. I was like, you know nope, what? there's only one in there that I would pick. Okay, you go first. Yeah. You pick them. You go I first. I pick four. Four. The you pick the Beatles. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's – I would pick maybe Bob Dylan, but really not the man – you know, no. Yeah. Otherwise, <clears throat> nope, done. I'm done with this one. Wow. Pass along. I know. I'm a shit. Uh, You're going to buy uh, this I know. for me. I would say for me, I would go. And usually, so I also list my favorite first, my second favorite second, and then third favorite third. So oh out of God. these, I would say my favorite would be Fleetwood Mac, number five. Oh, yeah. I don't mind them, but not Well, why them. didn't you pick them? Yeah, not really. No? Okay. There's so Fleetwood few, Mac. I love Stevie Nicks. Yeah. Okay. I've seen Stevie Nicks twice in concert here in Ontario. She's amazing. Uh, the Beatles would be my second one. Oh, the third one, around. I could go, I will say the Rolling Stones are the most overrated band in the history of bands. Um, I just I agree. Uh, I agree. So fair. that caused a lot of controversy with this one because I did state that. But then I would probably go Led Zeppelin and that would just, or David Bowie, but I'll oh, go Led Zeppelin. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, kill me now. Yeah. <laughs> Beatles, easy. Yeah. Uh, Bowie and the Doors for me. Uh, the Doors are pretty. Oh, I like to say I love Bowie. the Doors as oh, well. The lips. Yeah. The, well, the the little Thunderbolt thing the there. Now the oh, Rolling yeah. Stones are the lips. Oh. Yeah, we have two, pe- two people. Seven. I didn't even know that. Look. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, yes. we have two viewers play along. We have two people. So Richard Chung says one. So Pink Floyd. Yeah. He said oh. the Who and Led Zeppelin. All right. No, we know what those. he was doing in college. We know what he was doing in college. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's and to Ivan, tunes. Um, Charlotte from Moncton says, uh, "Beatles, oh, yeah. Rolling Stones, oh, whoa, and Zeppelin." Fighting words there, right? She doesn't like. She likes the. She likes the Stones. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Dylan's pretty. There's a lot of good ones. It's it just I would say yeah. I, I'm good for them. All right. All right. You ready for number okay, two? Next one. What's the next, next one? Next one. Jeez, All right, Patty. Come on. Creepers. This is a good one. These are like 80s cheesy oh TV my God. shows. Okay. <laughs> Who's first? You uh, are. You are. Okay, I'm going to go with A. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I'm going to go with A. Jesus, there's so many on this one. <laughs> A, C, and N. A, C, and N. The one here. Who's yep. the boss and the golden, and the golden girls. girls? And I also would have picked, although this is breaking the rules. This, this is breaking the rules. This is breaking the rules. Growing Pains, Roseanne, That's and like Perfect five. Strangers. That's I know. Six. But you're the only three. <laughs> it's called Pick Three. All right. I go next. I would go with Cheers D, number one. Oh, yeah. But no. Yeah. yeah no. Eh. Yeah. Okay. Um. I, Night Court, number two. Ooh, yes. And then G, Family Ties. Oh, that was in there. I missed that one. Well, this is how you do, you got to play the game. you gotta, you got to be very careful too. with your choices. Right? <laughs> oh, shut up. You shit. <laughs> so, well, I would go, uh, I would actually say Wonder Years. I actually really like the Wonder Years. I know. Uh, I like Cheers. And uh, I would have to say... Uh, Probably Roseanne. I actually like Roseanne. I know. I liked Roseanne too, even really? though she's callous and. Not yeah, I wasn't a big. I wasn't a big fan of Roseanne, but. Nah, I really. liked her supporting cast. Yeah. Yes. That was it for me. Agreed. So we got Lammy. Paul was here, and he said the last one was the Beatles. The one he loves number loves Cheers. Sarah said B C. She broke the rules. She said B C K A. Of course she broke the rule. You know what? Yeah, she's a rule breaker like me, Miss They don't count. I got you, girl. Woo-woo! We got got Megan, Drew, M, J, and H. So that'd be... All right. And then Lammy, D-I-G. So D-I-G, Cheers. Cheers, Night Court, and Family Oh, good Lammy. Same as me. Very smart. Very smart. Very smart dude there, boy. Yeah. And Richard said GDB. 
GDB, GBB. GBB. Family Ties, Cheers, and Growing Pains. Close. Oh, those are all good too. I could, I could go. So this with is those. how you. So this is how you spend your eat for like an hour. You sit there and an and hour. <laughs> yeah. And people break the rules, and I have to enforce the rules during it's that. It's super mad. Super mad. Here we go. F-bombs. Here we go. Here, we got a new one. Okay. Music. This is like 90s music, right? Oh, my God. This I think one. this is 90s Canadian mu- uh, music. <gasps> oh, I like this one. I had good ones in this. <laughs> Patty, you're up first. Okay. Okay. Patty's up first. I got to, like, expand the screen because I'm blind. Okay. So I'm going to go with B. She yep. was the first person I saw in a concert. Yeah. And then I'm going to go with uh, E. And I'm going to go, it's a tie, but I'm going to go well, there, with. There's no ties. Uh, there is fucking ties there, boy. <laughs> yes, on. enough bomber There Patty. you go. There um, you go. I'm going to go with G-H. G-H? I right. love Northern Pikes. I also love Olympus, Yeah. So eh, that's, that's it. That's fair. Okay, um, totally fair. I'm allowed to do whatever I, I want. So. I, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah I, lo- of course, I, Polly. I love the hip, but I don't think I hit the hip the first time because I, I, for whatever reason, but I think I, I, I feel like I have I to pick the them this too. time. So I would say, uh, D would be my first one, Matthew Goodband. I went on tour with them and did their merchandising. Oh. Um, I think it was of 2001. Of course I did. But was I went that highly on... successful for you, merchandising for the no. Matthew Good Band? It was fun, actually. It was a blast. And so we went through all Ontario, a bunch of schools so with, with this actual um, album, CD, whatever they call it. Anyway, so D, album. C, and E. E is such a classic, you can't pass it up. You can't so, pass that up. I mean, you can't pass yeah. it up. Polly, we're and I love here. Sarah McLaughlin, but I just, those are my, uh, D, C, E. Adam? <clears throat> Mine would be C, uh, F, M. F. So, what's that? God, I'm blind. Oh, our lady, lady Peace, really? He's, he does love Peace, dude. Yeah, and great, great Big C. Oh yeah, I mm-hmm. like Great Big C too. Yeah, yeah they, that album. There's so many in there to like. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Not this is why it's like the first one. I was like, no brainer. I only had one, but okay. Oh, and that's kind of that's kind of the way it goes with this game. Oh, Polly, look at best. you. This was the best. <laughs> I love this one. Okay. Uh, oh my God, no! See, I didn't know. This is know. great. This is a tough Adam, one. Adam, this is all you. Addy hasn't, Addy hasn't even seen like Half what what happened to you. Really? No, you know what? You're I, fr- I, you're I, a little younger than, than, than no, no, me. Okay. All right. Three. I have to pick three. Three. So I would pick I. I. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, you could always use some Patrick Swayze dancing around with Baby in the Corner. So we'll go with that. I would pick H. And I, I would pick A. Okay. Yeah. yeah, those are good. Good choices. Okay. Up, Polly. I think I, I think we're in the same. I, so I would pick H, uh, I, and A. Those would be my three. Yes. For same. Win. For the win. If I, if I was going to go in order. Order would be B, hands down, like not Goonies not over Dirty movie. Dancing. Oh, Goonies? Goonies is the best. So B, but and then over H, Dirty I Dancing. Think. Yeah, no, I, I agree. What is he thinking, Polly? No, he loves Dirty Dancing. I do, I do. And A. But so sorry, B. Men. What was the second one? Uh, so I'd stand by me. Uh, oh, yeah, Goonies yeah, and Breakfast. Okay. So let's do, we get Lammy. Let's do a let's do Lammy sensitive here. He said N G E. And uh, the old one. What was there's no NGE. <laughs> that's the what old are you one. talking about? He must have been having a few Bruce. That was the old one. A little behind. A little behind. Sorry. That was the old one. Tom old Cochran, one. the Northern. Oh, he, had a screenshot. he had a screenshot in Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> he just had his birthday. Sorry, Paul. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy Woo-hoo. birthday. Cheers. <laughs> sociable. Cheers, baby. Sociable all the way. <laughs> See, and again, this next think. one I could leave behind. Oh my god, yeah, well, this is a tough one. This is more because this is disgusting. We went out, <laughs> we went out of order here. So the we did the Saturday cartoons, and I used to sit there and watch Saturday cartoons and eat cereal from the box. Like it uh, it was honestly probably the only day of the week where I was allowed to do something like that. But it was um it was eating awesome. all these cereals from the box. I saw so now I let my son watch YouTube, usually Sunday morning from about eight to nine and eat Fruit Loops 
Um, I don't. He doesn't get the box though, but he gets he gets it in the bowl. So here's a question: <clears throat> Have you eaten every single box? I have not. On this, you have no. not. Okay, what have you not eaten? From I don't think I've had. Uh, what was that? I was gonna say fruity pebbles. Fruity pebbles. I don't think I've had. Okay. I I don't think I've had count. Cho- I've had count chocolate, but I don't. I haven't had cinnamon toast crunch. And, oh, okay. Uh, I've had. Sarah the- just said it's the best. Sarah just said it's the best on the couch in there. Cinnamon Apparently it is. I, yeah, and and golden grams. I haven't had golden grams. Um, I haven't had tricks either. So I haven't had a lot of these. Oh my gosh! <clears throat> you need more well, exposure. I do. <laughs> So, uh, Patty, you said no to all these, right? You're like no. The only one I've, I've, I've that I would actually eat, and even then, I find them sweet. Is B. Yeah, raisin I bran. Eat, I eat B now with with uh, blueberries sometimes. Which is, uh, but there's still good. so much sugar in raisin bran. Yeah, there really is. Like it's, it's insane. There's so I'm going to go all in on this one. There isn't a beer. <laughs> yeah, so you might as well have a beer. Might as well have okay, a beer. Okay, for these, it would be for me. It would be honeycomb, okay. sugar crisp. And cap and cor, uh, corn pops. <clears throat> so oh. D A M, corn pops are good. Mm-hmm. Eat honeycomb and corn pops. I could eat those now. Those really? are good. easily They're so yeah, good. Easy. But yeah. the other the other one would be that's the tough one because I don't think any other ones I would ever have a craving ever for the rest of my life. But maybe maybe frosted <laughs> flakes. Are okay. Frosted flakes, yeah. But it's funny oh. how when I was a kid these didn't seem that sweet, and now they're like, oh my god! Like be, like you said, they're so sweet. They're, All right. Yeah. I'm with next, you. Okay. next, next What's we next? got. Ooh, this is classic, classic TV shows. Like, See again, Patty is gonna fail at this miserably. These, so these were the shows that were on like four or five o'clock usually when I was a kid. They were always on like after school on so some on most of the American channels. No, but I've seen a good part, a good oh, yeah. portion of them. Yeah. Okay, so I've seen one of these shows. Which one? Stop. F. That's so you've it. never you've never seen Gilligan's Island? Nope. You've never seen I Dream of Jeannie? Nope. Wow. <laughs> well, this game sucks for you. <laughs> it does suck for me because I never watch these shows. I watch like I, Family Ties and Growing Pains <clears throat> and Roseanne. Like I so there's a this lot, whole yeah. genre of television and this era of television I just never watched. There's a lot I watched. Like so the Beverly Hillbillies, Bewitched. I Dream of Jeannie, Adam's Family, Andy Griffith Show, like, okay, Gilligan's D? Island. Gomer Pyle. Gomer. <laughs> what is that? It's Gomer Pyle Show. Gomer I've Pyle never heard show. of that show, ever. No? No, I know, Adam. I know you're shocked. So mine would be, I would go. Navy? McHale's. Oh, did we just break McHale's? the cake? <laughs> I was going to say McCall's. McHale's. Okay. Uh, never heard Gilligan's of it. Island would be one. Hogan's Heroes would be two. Or, and then uh, I'd probably say the Beverly Hillbillies. So H yeah, I, and A. <clears throat> well, we have, well, I would say I would go through here. to Gilligan's Island for sure. Uh, I would say Batman and Hogan's Heroes. Mm-hmm. And, uh, we yeah, got I mean, I've heard of those, but I've never seen them. Yeah. Uh, I'm really bad. I know. Lammy says HLF. <laughs> Gilligan's what's, Island. What's my Bewitched. H L F Gilligan's. Yeah, I don't get smart. What is that? You ever heard of that? That's like Maxwell Smart. You ever heard of Inspector Gadget? You know that cartoon? Yeah, I know who that is. It's like that. Well, that the Gates Get Smart. It was a takeoff on Get Smart, kind of. It was almost like a like a an idiot's James Bond. He was just a he was like a. How long was it on the air? Oh, would have been. But this would have aired probably in the 50s or 60s, I guess. So all the times that we would have watched as a kid would have been reruns in the, like, 80s yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I missed all those reruns. So then you got to get the next ones then. The next one is okay. recent, recent, like 2010 and beyond, pretty much. Binge-worthy shows. Oh, no, oh. I had a lot in this one. Can I make like, all the ones I didn't check in the <laughs> other one? Three. Can I have them in this? <clears throat> okay. You get, yeah, get three. <clears throat> oh, there's so many. This F. is where it's difficult. Okay, F. Yeah. F. A. C. Uh, ah. A C. F A C. I haven't H, seen. But it didn't. I haven't. It. I haven't seen F or A. What? No, I haven't. Now I gotta watch them. <clears throat> I know. I gotta watch them now. All right. So, oh. probably my favorite show, the best show ever, Jay Game of Thrones. Oh no. Then Bali. C C Breaking Bad. 
And then there's, and then this one I had kind of given up for uh, on a long time, but then this year, Homeland, it was so good. P, so but good. It was oh. shitty in the beginning. Ooh. It was an awful. No, show it was in good the in the beginning. It got in good. the middle. <clears throat> oh, Homeland this year was so good. And Dexter, I loved Dexter at the time. So, yeah. So yeah, I would say J C P, <laughs> and then. Yeah. I'm not giving honorary mentions because I get pissed off when other people do it. So. Oh, <laughs> you playing by the rules. Playing right. by the rules. Playing by the rules. Okay, Adam. E- easy, easy peasy for me. Dexter, Homeland, and Game of Thrones. You're for all sure. shit. Dexter, really? Dexter was really good. I it was, watched it. And I did not think it was really great. <laughs> season, right. season three was potentially one of the top three seasons of any show with John yeah. Lithgow. It yeah. was no, so you good. and my husband. He was, That's he was probably thing. one of the creepiest serial killers I've ever seen. Fuck. He was yeah. he was so terrifying. Like that was the oh, one dude. show. The, the the final credits on the last show that year, I had goosebumps. I was like, "What just happened?" Yeah, <laughs> it was a good yeah, show. No, I'm not with you, Ooh. but that's okay. <laughs> Natasha Gibbs here. Natasha Gibbs here. Oh, she says hi, Moose. Hi. Lammy says he's seen eight of, eight of those 16. So now we're on to the last. Okay, this wait. is the last card. This, this is, is the last one. Then we have to eat this microwave. Well, I have to, oh, well, you just have to taste it. You at least have to have a taste. You have to have Jesus. one taste. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so the last oh, one. Oh. These are the wheelhouse. These are the wheelhouse of shows I grew up watching. Before. I can't pick out of these. There's so many. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here's the story. Here's the story. Okay, I'm going to go with... Uh, D. <laughs> no, I'm looking. I'm looking. D, N, and C. Okay. D. Those are all good. D, N, and C. Three's Company, The Jeffersons, and Three's Happy Days. <clears throat> these yeah. are tough. I loved a lot of these shows. Oh my God. I, yeah. Like Laverne. I know there's Shirley a lot in there, Polly. Mary Tyler Moore Show, WKRP. There's so many of them. But I would go, if I was talking about the ones that I watched back then, MASH would be number one. Oh, yeah, I never got into MASH. Um, number two would be the Jeffersons in. Mm. And then three, I'd have to say Three's Company, D. Yeah, I know. I'm with you. Yeah. 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 We would have been like couch buddies. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we would have. Eating Fruit Loops. Eating Fruit Loops. Whatever. And, and moisty cakes in a cup. Yeah, moisty. Red. Ooh, it's almost ready yeah. to try. I'm Almost. So I bet you're excited. This is like <laughs> the worst thing ever made on the cooking pod. <laughs> Good chat Good chat ever. All right, Adam, what are your picks? K, Brady Bunch. Oh, that's a good one. D, Three's Company, and C, Happy Days. Ah. Oh, you're not far from me. Okay. Happy Days. Happy Days is right. Yeah, those are, these will be the toughest ones for me. These are so good. Yeah, I'm with yeah. you. So I'm going to shut myself off. That was a great game. Thanks for playing, everyone. No worries. Oh, my God. <laughs> we'll bring you guys back. <laughs> Is it? Okay, so. Okay, so. Well, are we ready? Moist. <laughs> what's it called again? Moist. What, what is this thing? Moist. Moist chocolate cake in a cup. In a cup. Oh, By delicious. Patty with the help of Polly. Mm-hmm. Follow me okay. on Instagram for delicious recipes like yeah, this. We'll post it on his Instagram and yeah. send it out via Three Twitter. Three tablespoons. Okay, we ready? Mm. Okay, this oh, is it looks cake. so good. Moist. It's very see, moist. I want to see your face when you eat it. No, I'm gonna, <clears> okay, I'm going to breathe first. I'm ready? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, are we ready? Okay, okay. <laughs> Not this bad. Is the worst thing I've ever eaten. <laughs> it's a little. Uh, ugh. A little. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a little like underdone. Like it's a little flowery. So you probably had it would have gone in for a minute, maybe not forty-five we seconds. Add, totally add another fifteen seconds to that cooking. And then would it would have been, been solid. Uh, it's not the worst thing. Yeah, not the best thing either. It's not the worst thing. Next time I'm on, we'll really have to make something really good. We're going to make it next time, Paul. Yeah, to make up for yeah. this. Yeah, Patty needs to clear her palate. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, and I'm not a dessert person anyway, so. But no, it's not bad. Seriously. If you want to like, give yeah. yourself a little midnight snack and you need 45 seconds in the microwave, it's not a bad little thing. 
That's good. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Okay. One minute, though. Not 45 seconds. No, they no. Lied. I definitely needed another 15 seconds. Yeah. Because I'm the microwave cooking expert. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I tried to give tips. <laughs> I... <laughs> I'm trying to give tips. Well, I got to tell you, like, these um, pick threes have been really fun. I'm going to, like, you. tune in a little bit more. Yeah, well, you they tagged are... me in one today, and my like notifications You're... like blew up. It was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> they're fun, super popular. What happened? They're, fu they're fun. They're a lot of fun. They are fun. Yeah. I'm hoping. I see. My plan was to do it till like until social distance it was over, but I don't think I have that many to put. So I'm hoping another <laughs> week gonna... maybe. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Face them out. Make a yeah. 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 Bring back some uh, old ones. People won't remember the answer. Recycle. You know, they'll never know. Yeah. Yeah. They'll never know. Uh, <laughs> well, well, I gotta tell you, it seems. When were you with us? February. January. January. Yeah. Like, January. It doesn't feel that long ago, but it feels no. like in another <clears throat> breath, like it was a decade ago with what everybody's know. been going through. So. so much has happened in the world since then. Yeah. Hopefully, I get to come there at the end of summer or early fall and uh, come hang out again. Maybe yeah. bring and and maybe bring a better guest than me. <laughs> somebody, oh no, totally. We'd love to have you. You're, you're like an honorary now. You're gonna like get in the Paul Lamb. I think my Pauls oh. are the guys. Paul Lamb. Although I won't wear jean shorts like him, but I will. I will definitely jean shorts. Oh, <laughs> yeah. you're throwing it down, buddy. So I when I worked at the Lower Deck, Paul, oh, shit, Paul man. used Paul to play is, there. Lamb is gonna blow up. And. The jean shorts were obscene. Like they were. <laughs> so were they like cut off jean shorts? With they like were cut drill? off, and you could like you could see well, some I stuff will, sometimes. Oh my god, no, no. Holly? No, it was if you sat front stage or if you sat in the front table, you were getting your money's worth. Let me tell you. So I used to. Paul I used Lamb. to work. I, I used to work the post right beside them. No, I don't know. I'm sure they can. I used to work the post right beside the band. It was a blast. They were amazing. And the place would be absolutely jam packed every night. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, I would love I would love a photo if somebody has one. I would love a photo. We'll see if we can find it. Find one. He's very, I mean, he's very well put together and dressed right now. He, I, yeah. I've never seen him in jean shorts. Oh, well, this we're talking well, 20 were years days. ago. We're talking 20, 25 <laughs> years ago. So, this is yeah, a I know. Different Back time. when we were young. Mm hmm. Yeah, Paul hasn't said anything on the comments. Sorry, yeah. Paul. <laughs> yeah. Paul's going well, to find the jean shorts. He's going to come yeah, on I camera with Paul us. Paul still has the jean shorts. I bet he could pull them out. They're probably, like, safe hidden. It, he, 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 I wish he would have pulled them out when he was wearing them. <laughs> Shush. Paul. Paul's getting bad now. I'm sorry. I've had one beer. <laughs> one beer and you're good. <laughs> One beer. Yeah. Well, it's been uh, really fun. It's Thank been you fun. for coming on and like doing nothing other than sitting there. I, I, I said to Adam, I'm not making this microwave cake, baby. Like I said, you're the producer, Adam. I'm not coming on here to work. I'm coming on here to watch. Next time, though, I will cook. Okay. Will cook. Next time, I'm gonna hold you to that, and you're not just gonna stir know. either. You're gonna like no. Do I'm some gonna actual, actually cook. Some actually effing work. For eight weeks, I've been cooking. Like it's been, uh, I really like have. What kind of cooking? Like ramen noodle, craft dinner cooking, or like actually no, like, cooking? Be, like like putting some shake and bake on some pork chops and putting. Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't really count, Paul. I'm kidding. Uh, no, You're not chicken really stir fry, helpful. chicken stir fry. I made chicken stir fry. That was okay. delicious. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe okay. we'll make chicken stir fry next. We can do that. We can do that. Well, we thanks for having me on time. again, and I miss you guys. Uh, stay safe yeah, and hopefully you see you at the end of the summer, early fall. Yes, fingers crossed we get to that point and uh, you come back on and we do some fun stuff. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, guys. All right. Everybody All stay right. safe, stay healthy, <laughs> enjoy the warm ish weather here in Nova Scotia or anywhere, and uh, we'll see you next time on Chit Chat Chat. Thanks, Polly. Thank you. Woo -woo.